Drama in Dingwall. Ross County defeat Kilmarnock. 1-0. Very, very disappointing from Derek McKins. I mean, we had a series... I mean, the first half was pretty bleak, but Ross Callahan's challenge, man. It's just one of those challenges that, I mean, it's kind of almost got to be a red. I thought it was. I mean, the initial contact, very, very high from uh, Kanigan. Kanigan? Callaghan. I mean, I actually bet Ross County, and I can't lie, guys, man. Um, my heart was in my mouth at this point when I seen that his boot was that high. I was like, oh, fuck, I said I'm doing the 10, man. That's my beat, bet, beat. But you know what? I'll let you in the wee secret. It wasn't Ross County that beat my bet. I'll get to that a wee bit later on. Derek McKins, rightfully, to be honest, is a bit fuming at this. Calkin picks up a, a yellow here. I mean, he ends up getting fined later on, but we'll get to that later on. We had a series of shit corners. I thought um, the main man himself wasn't very good, you know. Definitely uh, not a uh, quite, very quiet game against Selleck. Kyle Arthurty, <laughs> he was fucking shite the day. And I don't know, I, I gave Kelly a lot of hype going into this game against uh, Ross County. Well, not against Ross County, into the season. And it's just not really materialised. I mean, it was a pretty bleak day all in all for the Scottish Premiership here. Um, a series of shite corners in the first half, I mean, there was literally zero chances, man, I actually watched, like, the majority of this game on his goal, keep my eye on it, for uh, the sake of it, but not an awful lot in the first half, Walker dealing with stuff, you know, it just wasn't particularly great, we, we, we go into half time, after half time, uh, I believe Kelly have, like, a set piece or something, ball falls the edge of the box, we've got Alan Parr, absolutely cracks one, I mean, it was kind of similar to Josh Campbell's goal, against, um, thingy rangers earlier on make sure you check out that review on the channel not much comes it though i mean doesn't even test the goalie to be fair so i mean you can't particularly um go on about it uh, an awful lot but then we get to the 81st minute and callaghan receives his second yellow i mean it's a second yellow but to be honest, Derek McKins is going to argue all day every day how's the guy even on the pitch and back to that first challenge it's high and it's a scissors one. I, I really don't understand how it's not a red the first one. But again, we, we see shite officiating, refereeing, whatever you want to call it, every week. I mean, we saw it in the Rangers and Hibs games, decisions both sides. I mean, albeit more, more I think uh, Hibs got uh, the better. Well, you know, say that. Hibs didn't get a penalty and then the two reds. And Morelos one's probably a red. The Lundstrom one ain't, to be honest. And here... I don't know how he's not sent off initially. I don't know. Don't get it back to that incident. How is Callaghan no sent off? He's not. I mean, if he gets sent off, I, I believe it was like the 30-odd minutes because it was like not long after I put the game on um, on his goal because I was uh, in for work making my Hibs and Rangers review. It wasn't long after that. Changes the game. But then again, Kelly, they go down to 10 men with about... 10 minutes to go, well, I mean, over 10, I, mean, I guess I add on injury time, I mean, it's like about 12, 14 minutes, that sort of ballpark, and you're thinking, right, Kelly, man, they got to win it, I mean, I actually bet Ross County, as I say, and, uh, but not to set piece, there's a bit of a scramble in the box, and Edwards manages to poke it home, the man that was, uh, lucky, um, here, it was, I mean, it fell to him. I mean, it was a decent finish. Massive celebration, of course, here in Dingwall. Didn't look like there was many people in the stadium, to be perfectly honest. But it was it was good, all in all. Um, so, you know, even a uh, cheap pop, so to speak. Kelly, after this, there's a, a lot, a lot of pressure here um, from Kelly. But Ross County are able to withstand that pressure, and they get the three points. And to be honest, I think the only reason they get the three points is because I had them in my bet. I did Ross County. Dortmund and West Brom and Dortmund guys let's just get stuck into that 2-0 up till the 89th minute and then they concede three goals against Ferrer Bremen in the last five minutes <coughs> literally only because I had money on them and they, when you lose that's exactly when you lose but um Ross County the, the whole dude absolute not not good for Derek McKins but again it boils down to that challenge from Callaghan if he gets sent off in the 30 odd minutes and know the 81st <laughs> changes the game completely and uh, Kelly will probably walk away with the three points but they didn't and it's left Kelly 
Rock bottom. Rock bottom with Dundee United. Dundee, you shite it. And Derek McKinnon's it's not the start anyone really expected from Kelly to the season or from Jack Ross and the likes of Motherwell who have uh, absolutely buried on this channel have got three wins from four. So yeah, absolutely is seeing the league table there. Uh, who, who's going to be first to go? Derek McKins or Jack Ross? Only time will tell with that one. But Edward sinks Kelly and so's the referee in to be fair because Callaghan shouldn't have been on the pitch. But until next time, that's it for Fog Football and peace.